Hello everyone and welcome back to The Cursing Seamstress. Today I have a fairly quick video. Um, I'm getting ready to go to um, church right now. I've not yet done my hair so I apologize for that. Um, but I, I've been sewing and in my last video I told you I was going to do um, in my last video I told you I was going to do a video on a, a dress that I had made. This is not it, um, but that will probably be next. Um, today, I just wanted to talk to you a bit about a handbag that I'm making. I believe I made a video a long time ago, maybe a couple of years ago, about this pattern. Um, this pattern is, um, there's a tutorial for this purse pattern on YouTube, the, um, I think, and I'll put the exact description and location um, below, but um, it's called Smarmy Clothes, I think. <clears throat> Excuse me. S-M-A-R-M-Y-C-L-O-T-H-E-S. You could probably find it just by entering that in the search box in um, YouTube. But the woman who does this tutorial does such a great job and if you've never made a handbag this is the place to go it's so so simple um and even though it um the pocketbook i've used three nouns to describe um this a handbag pocketbook purse um i guess a pocketbook is pretty outdated um and so probably purses too but anyway, um, the handbag has some pretty detailed features in it, and even so, it's so simple to do. She gives you the option of putting a zipper on the outside and a zipper on the inside um, on a pocket, um, and um, it's, it's just, I mean, anybody, if you're watching this, you could follow it. Um, I certainly had no trouble with it at all. So um, I'm going to show you the first one that I made. This one I made following her instructions pretty much to the letter except that my D-rings are too big. I think I got um, an inch and a half D-ring um, instead of the one inch and um, but it's fine. Um, I did on this one, I'll just show it to you. This handbag is made out of a Walmart fabric. It is a medium weight. Um, I did reinforce the, um, the handbag, the body of the handbag with probably it was iron-on interfacing. It's been a long time ago that I made this. So the straps are the length of straps that she recommended. Um, and like I said, I think I did everything pretty much how she, how she said do it. Um, it comes with a, a zipper that is recessed here. There's nothing hard about doing it. Um, open it up and I used the same fabric for the lining. I did not put a pocket in here. I didn't put a zippered pocket or any kind of pocket. But I did put um, a pocket, another pocket on the opposite side of the uh, outer body um, that doesn't have a zipper. I did use a little embellishment embroidery here. And I've never used this before. Um, it does have on the bottom, I think this is a two inch um, squared off base here. But this is not a bad size for a for a handbag at all. It's not really, well, I guess it could be considered a shoulder bag. It's a little bit high for a shoulder bag. Um, so uh, I'm making a, another one um, and I'll show you, I have not finished it, but I'll show you what I've gotten done so far. I, um, it is lined, it's, she tells you exactly step by step how to interface, how to do everything. Um, You've seen this fabric before. I made the um, skirt last video, the pencil skirt out of this. It was a curtain panel by Waverly. Um, quite sure it was from Walmart. 
that um, I bought a bunch of fabric from somebody and um, and that this was in there. So um, this is just the beginnings. I did not put the zipper in here. I just made this um, a pocket here. And what I did was I used my uh, faff. Um, I'm trying to think. I, my embroidery slash sewing faff is a um, creative 3.0 the faff that I use and it's designated only as a sewing machine is not a creative it's something else and it's a 5.0 I think I can't remember the name of it but both machines do lettering so I put some lettering inside this pocket I, I'm thinking I'm making this for a good friend of mine and um, I've known her since I was 17 years old and uh, we are both big music fans, uh, Elton John, Todd Rundgren, of course, the Beatles, the Rolling Stones, David Bowie, um, Neil Young. But anyway, in this, I put the, some of the lyrics to Tiny Dancer. And so it says in here, hold me closely, Tiny Dancer, count the headlights on the highway, lay me down in sheets of linen. You've had a you had a busy day today, so that's what it says in there. I thought that was kind of cool. The um, stabilizer that I used was um, I got I think I got it at a an estate sale, and I bought quite a bit of fabric there. It was a lady who had a sewing business in a little building behind her house, so. Um, so I bought a bunch of stuff and there was a little bit of rust on it. I don't know if you can see, but there's some rust on there. This was not iron on. Um, so I used a, a, an adhesive spray and I have two kinds. I have one kind that's highly recommended. I don't remember the name of it. The other one that I bought is made by Elmer's, the glue company. And it says on the outside that it, is either temporary or permanent. So if you um, put it on, that's my dog. Um, if you put it on and um, leave it on and don't try to peel it back up, it's supposed to be permanent. Um, but also you can put it on and then adjust it and um, move it around. I don't know. But anyway, that's what I used. I did spray that on. I took it out in the garage where I do all my dirty work and sprayed it on. So it is sticking here. It's not sticking so well. And I could pull it up. I can tell that I could pull it up. So I guess it's not that permanent. But um, anyway, I did spray that on to stabilize it. And I think it'll be fine when I sew everything down. I don't think it would be an issue where it would be um, puckering or doing any weird stuff. Um, so, so that's what one side looks like. And, um, I'll show you the other side. The other side looks like this. And this part here, this is a separate piece here. This is what will allow for that recessed zipper. So the zipper will be, um, recessed, um, you know, on this side. And I, the big thing about this and what, oh, and let me show you the lining. The lining is just uh, a white fabric. And I did on the inner lining, I did put a pocket and I put the pocket um, out. I made it out of the same outer fabric and I wrote some more words on here. I did it in an off white and they're just more, um, it just says tiny dancer over it just repeats tiny dancer across this so that's going to be the little inner pocket so the the cool thing about this and i think it's going to work out and i varied from the the description by the smarmy clothes lady and that is that i made this longer by i think two inches i kept the original width but made it a little bit um, a deeper handbag and instead of putting these little pieces right here which will attach to the strap um, on 
putting four of them, one here, one on the opposite side, one on the other outer piece and the opposite side of the outer piece. I decided to make this a crossbody bag and I didn't want two straps, so I'm gonna put one strap. So I put one on this side of the outer piece and on the other outer piece, I put one on the opposite side so that when it's sewn together, um, it will, the strap will go across, start on one end of the outer piece and go across to the other outer piece on the opposite side. I like that idea a lot better. But one of the reasons I'm even showing you this, because it is unfinished, is because of the, the grommets. And her pattern doesn't call for grommets at all. She calls for um, uh, just D-rings. Um, and I'm trying to think how she connects the... Oh, well, she just, just like this. The D-rings, the strap connects to the D-ring. So um, there's no swivel capability or anything. Um, and I just remembered that I did not bring my little swivelers, um, but I will go get them. So anyway, so I put in a grommet. I've never put in a grommet. I love grommets. I love the word grommet. And um, so I found these on Amazon. Um, they are not hard to put in at all. I cut this little piece the same as the smarmy clothes person and, um, and put the grommet in. Um, and so I bought also from Amazon plastic, and this is what I did not bring with me to show you, but I bought um, a, a clasp, uh, like a little hook, you see them everywhere, you just push down on the one piece and it opens up and you can hook it into whatever it is you're trying to attach. You see them on garment, um, on, uh, you see them on handbags and luggage, um, but it is plastic, it's a black plastic, and it is one inch wide, and that's for the strap to attach to, so you'll simply, I have already actually made the strap. I did not reinforce this strap. It is out of a pretty heavy material, and it's folded in on itself in half, and then the halves are folded back in. I double stitched, I stitched on one side and the other, so the, hook clasp piece will um, be attached to this, folded over, sewn down, so I will have this little swivel hook, and that swivel hook will attach to this. Um, let me show you the grommets. I, like I said, I really like grommets, and you can use them for so many things. Um, the smaller ones you can just use as um, you know, decorative pieces. This is the kit I got. This is made by General, and it comes in this little package. This is a hard plastic um, box, and it opens right here on the side, and here is everything you need to make your grommet. Um, and I got the package that has two sizes of, of grommets in your base kit. This is I, the larger size is what I used for this handbag. You get a little piece of wood to put under what you are hammering. And you really do need this because um, this really helps to absorb um, the force of the hammer. Um, I'm not that adept at using this, so I'm explaining this after having only used it twice but you get these little attachments that um, fit into both the big grommet and the smaller grommet and you simply hook it all. Actually, this comes with no instructions. I had to go online and find, it's easy to find instructions um, to find out how to exactly do it, but, um, but it's so simple. Um, the hardest part in doing any of this was making the hole because you have to mark where you want your grommet 
and then you have to open up the hole um, this big so you can poke your scissors in there whatever you want to and then cut little clips around the circle to get the hole big enough to fit this through and that was really hard to do my scissors um, you know you have to really get your scissors in further than just the tip to make a, a good clip so um, I was worried that I was going to clip and make it too big but um, I didn't but after having done that I realized that um, this there is a little piece in here which I think is the piece that makes the hole and um, I need to read more and play with this some more but I believe that this um, fits and it does this is the female part of the smaller one so this is the same size as this so I think what you would do is to center this where you want your hole to be and you might have to put something on top of it I have to fiddle with this and then hammer and I think this would create the hole for you and then you could just it may cut it out totally it's kind of like a cookie cutter you just putting it down and and cutting out the hole so I think that's what that is and in addition to I always do this I always buy more than whatever I think um, I would need it's um, not a good personality trait but I bought an extra box of the, uh, of the large grommets and of course at Amazon they're really good about if you choose one item you know they'll have a you know something on there that says you might also like this so um so the grommets were not difficult to do I took it out in my garage I can't think of anything in my house that I would want to pound on um, that hard I certainly wouldn't want to do it on my kitchen counter I sew on a, a vintage you know an old um, wooden table but even that I wouldn't want to hammer on so I took it in my garage and on my garage floor the cement um, I put that little wooden piece that comes with the kit and hammered on that and that just worked great so I am not afraid of grommets any longer um, and I plan to play with them some more um, I will put the links down to um, I think I can find the link where I got the um, the grommet kit um, and the swarmy clothes video um, and I will follow up with this and show you what the handbag looks like when I get done I think it's gonna come out really well and um, and that's pretty much all I have to say thank you so much for watching and I hope you have a wonderful week and I'll see you back shortly